tens equals the mobility of the P's. So they're both the same. And well, actually, that doesn't even matter. I want you to tell me what's the W effective best. And I want you to tell me the W effective worst. And by best, I mean the best of the best and worst, I mean the worst of the worst equals question mark. So you're gonna, it's gonna be as a function of W, okay? All the transistors have W, 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 each transistor has a width of W, all of both the N's and the P's. So that's the question. Let's go over here to our uh, course webpage. We will go to bonus quizzes. And this is, oh wow, which one is it? Oh, it's five, are we on five already? Well, wow. W effective worse. And, and you just want the, the, the final value, right? I want two numbers and these will be, a, it'll be a function of W. What's W effective best and W effective worst. And by best, I mean the best of the N's and the P's and the worst, I mean the worst of the N's and the P's. I you don't need to know this. I just want the W effective best the worst. It doesn't even matter. You don't even Do you want with B and C in parallel? B e and C in parallel? Yeah, it's, it's either, it could be either one of these paths. It could be this path here or it could be this path here, but either of those two paths have three transistors in series. And so W effective will be equal to W over three, which will be equal to what? 33.333 nanometers. Because and it'll be in the P's, right? The N's only have worst cases two, the P's have three. Son, to be able to determine the, the W effective worse, it'd be whatever path has the most amount of transistors in series. If they're the same size, if they were different sizes. Yeah, assuming they're all the same them. size. Yep. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Everybody okay with that? And what about the best? That's the hard one. There's The best happens when all paths are enabled. And there's two situations that all the P's are enabled or all the N's are enabled. So let's let's try that. Let's do let's do the N's because I think they're easier. For all paths in the end are turned on. So A, B, C, and D are all equal to one. So we have to get this W effective of this whole thing. So let's do this middle path. I have B and C together. So what's the W effective of B and C in series? W over two. It's W over two. And now I have a, a W in parallel with a W over two in parallel with a W. So for the N's, this will be equal to what? What's W effective for the N's best case? Isn't there also an E? Uh, we should take oh, sorry, it. sorry, sorry. <laughs> and I, sorry. So let's, let's, these three parallel paths, what will that be equal to? Um, two and a half W. Yeah, that'll be 2.5 W. Or I could say, uh, what could I say there? Five, uh, five over two. Five over two, right? And then that is in series with this W, right? So then I could just say, it'll be W times five over two W over W plus five over two W, which will be, five over two W squared over, and now we'll have seven over two W, is that right? Yeah, the answer is five over seven. That'll cancel and that'll cancel and that cancel and that, and we'll be left with five, seven, oh, 
five sevenths W, right, for the ends. So that will be five sevenths W. That's the best case when they're all turned on. What about for the? Is everybody okay? Somebody got a question? Um. Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to confirm again. So you said the worst case of like the W effective of the worst case is when there is too many transistors in one path. In series, yeah. Generally speaking, the more series transistors you have, the worse the path is, okay? But you have to actually do a calculation. If, if, they're, if they're the same size, it's easy to calculate, which I did right here. If they're different sizes, then you have to actually work out the calculation. Like here, for instance, I, I figured out this five over two and I had this W over here, but they're not the same size. So I had to actually physically calculate it out. If they were both the same size, I could just do it in my head. And you said the best, for the best case, it's when all the transistors- well, All the transistors are on. Together. So in this case, A, B, C, D, E are all equal to one. And the W effective when they're all equal to one is five over seven W. And just as a check, you see this number is less than one, right? And that's because you see this E is one. And whenever I have something in series, it can never be larger than one. It's like uh, if I take two resistors and say this one was one K and this one was, uh, um, 10K. The equivalent resistor is going to be something a little bit less than 1K. It can never be bigger than the smallest value. And it's the same here because it works the same way. It can never be bigger than the smallest value. So it has to be less than 1W, just as a sanity check. So if we get a number bigger than one, you know, okay, there's something around here. I didn't do it right. So we figured out for the Ns, it's five, seven, W. How about for the Ps? We have these two in parallel, so they, they become two W, right? And then we have a W, a two W, and a W in series. So here's where we can use our conductances. So one over W total equals, uh, 1 over W1 plus 1 over W2 plus 1 over W3. But we won't do it like that. We'll just say, we'll, or we can say, I don't know, what do we call it? Uh, let's, uh, we'll call it X as a conductance equals X1 plus X2 plus X3. These will be equal to, um, this will be 1, this one. This will be, uh, one half, and this will be one. So that'll be equal to, uh, what's that? That's five over two, right? Two over two plus one over three plus two over two. And then W total will be one over that, so it'll be two fifths W. So these three together went to two fifths W. Does that make sense? And this one, since this was a W and this was a W and they're both in series, I know that if I didn't have this middle one, it would be W over two. So it's gotta be less than W over two. So instead of half, it's two fifths, which is a little bit less than half. So that's kind of like another sanity check. And then I just add that with this W over here. So that the new effect will be two fifths plus five fifths. So this is seven fifths W, right? And so the best of the best is the piece, right? This is the best of the best. And it would be, uh, what is it? 100 nanometers, that's 20, 140 nanometers would be, uh, right? Because 100 divided by five is 20 times seven is 140, is the best effective, 140 nanometers. And this is the worst. So there you have it, everybody got that? Oh, we only have a few minutes. We have two options here. I can continue on with some more 